Pisces, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading for the week of May 28th to June 3rd, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Pisces, please click the pink subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. For your reading, I am using the Steampunk Tarot. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. As a reminder, Pisces, if the reading does not resonate with you, please look at your Moon, your Rising Signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. All of my Pisces subscribers, Spirit, Pisces... All my Pisces subscribers, May 28th to June 3rd, what does Pisces need to know for Pisces? Perfect. Okay. Your central issue is the Hermit reversed. Awesome. You're coming out of isolation. Foundation, Five of Cups. Recent past, Two of Pentacles. Crowning you, Knight of Swords. Moving forward, Temperance reversed. Okay. Some of you are feeling feeling like emotional, sad, having regrets. There's definitely a lack of balance. The temperance card. Feeling sad, having regrets. Definitely a lack of balance. You know, the Two of Pentacles and Temperance, both of these cards represent the need to juggle. The need to balance. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and a Virgo. The Hermit Reversed is coming out of, is coming out of isolation, right? Like you've seen the light, trying to figure out your next step. This is you feeling like, you know, like your life has been out of balance. You're, you know, you were, you were definitely kind of on a roll for a while and now you're stuck. You could be juggling your finances for some of you. Others of you, you have an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That could be coming in with some brutal, brutal, excuse me, brutal truth. But it's going to help you get out of this emotional rut that you're in. It really is. Some of you have been very sad and upset regarding your relationship. Some of you feel like you're a third, a third wheel. With the Two of Pentacles, you know, you definitely feel like you're a third wheel. But this is moving away, thank goodness. You know, this is your foundation and the recent past. You know, you're 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 definitely Moving past this, it's moving away. Some of you are mourning the loss of something that you couldn't control or balance. That's what I'm getting. The Knight of Swords comes in and looks at things, you know, from a logical. The, the, the Knight of Swords is a very logical person. 
looking at things from a logical perspective. And I feel like this person is going to help you balance everything out. I do. Let's clarify it. I'm going to use the same deck for you guys. I think it's situated. I've been sitting here a while. Sorry. Five of Cups, four of Pisces. Why is the Five of Cups here? Spirit, please show me. Definitely this card wants to come. Okay, interesting. Six of Cups. It could be choices concerning a past love. Something, someone that you, that you think is your soulmate. You might feel like you made bad choices with them. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords Reverse, you're getting out of your head, coming out of denial about things and the direction that you're headed in. Let me get another one there. The Knight of Cups reversed. This literally fell in my lap. So this could definitely be a cheating scenario. Either you cheated or someone else did. And you're finding out the truth about that. And you're also pretty sad, which is definitely understandable. Or you felt used in the past by someone. And now you're just very cautious now with moving forward. You really do feel like you made bad decisions about them. And it's probably because they screwed you over in the past. All right, let's look at the Hermit. Wow, the death card. It could be dealing with the Scorpio for some of you, but I feel like this is you changing. Changing your ways. You're literally done being a hermit. You're coming out of introspection and you're changing everything and you probably had to cut someone out that was no longer serving you. It was someone from the past that you were holding on to and you just had to cut Cut them out. Yeah. Let's see temperance. Temperance for Pisces. Temperance. Four of Wands. Celebrations. Parties. Weddings, moving to a new home. Some of you are leaving the past behind and moving on, but you're doing it in an unhappy way. Five of Cups again. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is instability. You know, financially being drained. Family. It could be mourning the loss of financial stability. Because you left the family. I feel like you need someone to give you something. Like help from the family maybe. This is gift giving. Someone could be giving you money because... You feel broke, lost. You're worried. Thinking too much. Some of you are worried and thinking about your financial situation. Big time. You really could be looking to your family to help you out.
the Hermit, King of Pentacles, reversed. You could have ended it literally with a Virgo. Beautiful. On the Knight of Swords, the Strength card. Sign of Leo. Some of you, some of you are definitely are learning how to get past your romantic situations. You're feeling confident, strong. You're being clear and honest with people. And you're moving on. Temperance. Beautiful. The Ace of Pentacles. You're overcoming financial issues. Amazing. That turned out really nice. Trying to start a new beginning. Maybe not quite yet there, but you're getting there. I'm going to get you guys a Romance Angels card. Pisces. Okay. And you are getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So maybe this person from the past that cut you out, you cut them out. Maybe this Scorpio, you know, maybe you're mending bridges. Very, very possible. Pisces, I hope it helps you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so very much for taking the time to view the video. Have a beautiful, blessed week, and I will see you guys back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.